please rise for the graduation processional.
welcome to Auburn University's Spring 2018 Graduation Ceremony. We'll begin our ceremony with the presentation of the colors. I ask now that all gentlemen please remove your headdress for the presentation of colors and during the national anthem. And please remain standing. March on the colors. Snow Dorosky, instructor of voice, Department of Music in our College of Liberal Arts, who will lead us in singing our national anthem. She'll be accompanied by the Auburn University Graduation Band, conducted by Dr. Rick Good, director of bands. <laughs> Please be seated. Graduation is the most distinguished and important ceremony we host here at Auburn University. It is the symbolic closing of a very transformative chapter in your academic pursuits and the launch of a new chapter, one that holds great promise and limitless possibility. I am grateful to celebrate this momentous occasion with each and every one of you. I would like to introduce some members of the platform party. Others will be introduced later in this ceremony. As I call your name, please stand. Mr. Michael DeMaribus, Auburn University Board of Trustees. Dr. Bill Hargrave, Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs. Dr. Bobby Woodard, Senior Vice President for Student Affairs. Dr. John Mason, Vice President for Research and Economic Development. Dr. Taffy Benson Clayton, Vice President for Inclusion and Diversity. Ms. Jane DeFalco Parker, Vice President for Development and President of the Auburn University Foundation. Ms. Jamie Hammer, General Counsel. Ms. Nancy No, Interim Dean of Libraries. Dr. George Crandall, Associate Dean of the Graduate School. Dr. Steve Duke, Associate Professor and Associate Dean for Academics, Samuel Ginn College of Engineering. Dr. Jeffrey Fergus, Professor and Associate Dean for Assessment and Graduate Studies, Samuel Ginn College of Engineering. Dr. Daniel Swantek, Chair of the University Senate and Professor in the Department of Psychology in the College of Liberal Arts. Dr. Jeff Jones, Graduation Marshal, and professor in the Department of Accounting in the Harvard College of Business. Dr. Eric Wetzel, 
Mace Bearer, an assistant professor in the College of Architecture, Design, and Construction. Lieutenant Colonel Jeffrey Wellborn, commanding officer, Air Force ROTC. Lieutenant Colonel Rashawn Steele, commanding officer, Army ROTC. Captain Willie Billingsley, commanding officer, Naval ROTC. Mr. Rick Smith, graduation reader and lecturer in the School of Communication and Journalism. And Mr. Steve Geis, interpreter for the deaf, Office of Accessibility. Let's have a round of applause for this special group of individuals. Now to the graduates, our faculty members have played a major role in preparing you for the next steps in your lives. They have mentored you, challenged you, and propelled you. Will members of our faculty please rise? Everyone, please join me in applauding these tireless individuals who have devoted their time and effort to shape these graduates' minds. Please be seated. I would now like to ask our candidates for graduation to please stand. Graduates, take a look around this arena. These seats are filled with your biggest supporters, your friends, and your family. They have worked and wished and waited for this day almost as much as you have. They have come from far and wide to celebrate with you today. They have encouraged you through the pursuit of your degree. Let's all give them a round of applause and thank them for supporting you. Please be seated. You're about to join an incredible family of Auburn graduates. Since our establishment in 1856, Auburn has awarded more than 320,000 degrees. This spring, we'll award 4,027 degrees at the doctorate, master's, and bachelor's levels. Our graduates have moved on to make meaningful impacts in the community, in our state, in our nation, and across the world. I wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors and look forward to following your success and the mark you leave on the world. Today, we are very honored to have one of our alums, Susan Story of the American Water Works with us to deliver our graduation address. A native of Albertville, Alabama, Ms. Story earned an engineering degree from Auburn in 1981, becoming the first person in her family to graduate from college. After graduation, she began her career as a nuclear power plant engineer at Alabama Power and steadily moved through the ranks, becoming CEO of Southern Company Services and President and CEO of Gulf Power Company. In 2014, Ms. Story was named CEO of American Water Works. And with this appointment, she joined an elite group of only 26 women chief executives who lead S&P 500 companies. American Water Works is the largest and most geographically diverse investor-owned water utility company in the nation. It provides drinking water and related services to over 15 million people in the United States and in Canada. In her role as CEO, Ms. Story brings her valuable expertise in the utilities industry to American Water as, a com as the company develops and implements solutions to meet the country's many water challenges. In addition to her work at American Water, Ms. Story shares her experience with others as the independent lead director for Raymond James Financial, and she has a seat on the Dominion Energy Board of Directors. Following the lead of the Auburn Creed, she also gives back to her community through her service as a member of the Moffitt Cancer Center's Board of Directors. She is truly a trailblazer in every sense of the word. Please join me in welcoming a shining example of an Auburn woman, Susan Story, to the podium. Good morning. Okay, we can do better than that. Good morning. Good morning. This is a great day. Thank you. Thank you, President Leith, and I'd like to thank the graduation committee for the opportunity to speak today. I love being back at Auburn. I love this university. I love this campus. And there are, there's no one else in the country today 
or this season who will be graduating from a university that was voted by the readers of USA Today as the number one sports tradition, Rolling Tumors Corner. You know, Auburn is very important to my personal story. My personal story is the story of the American dream. I was the first person on either side of my family to ever go to college. My mom was ninth of nine kids of a dirt poor family in North Alabama, and my dad was on the streets at 14, uh, the product of an alcoholic home. But my mom and dad said, we know that this is the United States and our kids can be whatever they wanna be. So they worked hard. They worked for minimum wage in a cotton mill when my brother and I were young. And never did they imagine back in those days that their son would earn a doctorate and their daughter would be the CEO of an S&P 500 company. But that's why, although people will tell you, there are some out there who will say the American dream is dead, they're wrong, it's not. And I'm a living example, and there are living examples all around you today about the importance of the American dream. And this is where Auburn comes in. Auburn helped me on my path. Auburn helped me. I worked my way through school here while I was going to engineering school. I worked my way through, and when I graduated, I had all kinds of opportunities because of the education that I had here. Auburn supported me. Auburn encouraged me. Auburn was my beacon and my enabler. And I'm standing here because of Auburn University. And you're sitting here because of Auburn University. So this brings me to my message for the next few minutes, which is about purpose and the importance purpose has in your life. Purpose matters. Not that you live the path that I went down, but that you live the only, unique, the only unique path that you can live for your American dream. So in that vein, I want to share with you two personal stories to help explain why I'm standing here today. Two stories of situations that I came to in my life that didn't matter what the situation was, it's how I responded to those situations. First one was I was a young engineer, 23 years old, first professional job. This was in the early 1980s and there weren't a lot of women in engineering. And I happened to work for a supervisor who had been forced to hire me and who didn't think women should be engineers. And without me knowing it, he put obstacles in my way. He tried to find ways to hold me back. And he even told things that weren't true about me. I found out and I was devastated because I trusted him. But here's the important part of that story. See, I had a choice. I remembered that I thought, I can do one of two things. I can get bitter, blame him, say it's a bigger issue, resign myself to this is just the way it is. Or I could do the second thing, which is what I chose, which is to say, this is just him. This isn't about me. It's not about anybody else. It's about him. And I'm just going to prove that he's wrong. And I can be a lot better than what he thinks I can be. Two years later, I was promoted and he was demoted. The thing about this story is no one else decides what your future is. That is yours. You are the only person who decides what you're going to do, what you will be. Never give anybody else that power. No one has the power to determine your future but you. The second story is five years ago. Grew up in the South, went to Auburn, lived in Birmingham several years, lived in Atlanta, lived in Pensacola. Went to school, worked 31 years for the same company, and five years ago I got recruited to go to New Jersey. No one thought I would go. And I didn't even get a promise of, you're going to be the CEO. It's go into this job for a year or two, and then you'll be a leading candidate. So I left a company that I loved and people I loved to a company I didn't know, people I didn't know, for a job I didn't know I wouldn't get. But it all worked out. And nine months later, I was named CEO. Here's the lesson about that. There are times in your lives you're going to be faced with a decision. Be bold. Be bold. Do the things that will give you a dream you never knew you had. So those stories are my personal stories, which gets me back to purpose. I believe my purpose. So when I look at purpose, what is it that drives you when times get tough? What is it that drives you when you say, this is my dream, but I just can't get there? What is your purpose? See, I'm CEO of an S&P 500 company, but let me tell you what my purpose is. My purpose is to show that a company can be financially successful at the same time that it's great to its employees, can give the best customer service, and makes the communities we serve stronger. 
I think it's and, not or. Don't let people tell you that or is the most important word. It's and, it's not or. You can be financially successful. You can make a difference in people's lives. You can make life better for the people you lead. You can make life better for the people in your communities. Which leads me to why American Water. I get to lead 7,000 people on one of the most critical services that people in this world get, which is water, fire protection, and basic water services. I get to lead a group that has an R&D and engineering function that works with the Environmental Protection Agency and the Centers for Disease Control and international research organizations to look at emerging contaminants for water and how we make sure we keep water safe and clean and reliable. I want to tell you two stories of people I get to work with. Angelita Fasnacht. Angelita is a civil engineer from Colombia. Angelita, at age 28, was named head of a water organization, and her job was to go into rural Colombia and bring clean water for the villages that didn't have any, where women and children had to walk five to ten miles a day just to get enough water to drink and to cook with. In two years, Angelita's organization brought fresh, clean water to 50,000 people. But then something bad happened. The terrorist group FARC decided she was a threat to the village's dependence on them. So they kidnapped Angelita for 32 days. And then they told Angelita, we'll release you and not kill your family if you leave the country. She left Colombia with $2,500, not speaking English. Today, she's one of our scientists in R&D in New Jersey. She has four kids. She's leading international efforts on clean water as a research scientist. She's also the American dream. Let me tell you about another person I get to work with, Herbie Sims. Herbie Sims is a backhoe operator in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Backhoe operator, and he's so good at it. Every morning, he drives his backhoe down the street, and he, there's a little three-year-old, Connor, standing on the front porch, and he beeps his horn because he remembered when he was a kid how much he loved heavy equipment drivers beeping their horns at him. And every morning, Connor's there, and Connor's mother called our office and said, I really want to know his name because my son has autism, and our mornings don't start out real well, but every morning between 8.30 and 9, he runs out to that front porch waiting for Herbie to come by and beep his backhoe horn. So Herbie and his wife go. They went down. They brought toys to Connor and his brother Logan. They played for two hours, and when Herbie got up to leave, Connor goes up and wraps himself around Herbie's leg, and his mother broke into tears because she said Herbie hates, that Connor hates to be touched. And this was a breakthrough for her three-year-old, all because a backhoe operator in Scranton, Pennsylvania, doesn't consider what he does a job. He considers it a calling. It's a calling. And that's what I want for you. In others' eyes, people may think I'm successful because I'm CEO of a financially successful company. And that's all fine and good. I think I'm successful, though, because I get the joy of showing people what they are at their best, of working with amazing people doing extraordinary things of seeing communities grow and be better because our company and our people are there. Very few people get the honor and privilege of working with their heroes every day, and I do. And this is what I want for you. I want for you to be part of a team that makes things great. I want you to get to work with your heroes every day. Congratulations, class of 2018. This is for everything that you will do, but most importantly, everything that you are and, of course, to forever being a war eagle. Thank you, Mrs. Story, for your inspiring remarks. It is my pleasure to recognize several groups of students who are graduating with academic honors. First, I would like to recognize those undergraduates who are graduating with honors based upon their cumulative grade point averages. Students with a grade point average between 3.4 and 3.59 graduate cum laude, and I ask our cum laude degree candidates to rise and be recognized. You may be seated. Students with a grade point average of 3.6 to 3.79 graduate magna cum laude. And I ask our magna cum laude degree candidates to rise and be recognized.
You may be seated. Students with a grade point average of 3.8 and above graduate summa cum laude and ask our summa cum laude degree candidates to rise and be recognized. You may be seated. 1979 marked the beginning of the honors program at Auburn University. In 1998, that program became the Honors College. Honors College students graduate either with the distinction of University Honors Scholar or Honors Scholar. Would all those who have earned the distinction of University Honors Scholar or Honors Scholar please rise? You may be seated. Phi Kappa Phi is Auburn's highest all-discipline academic honorary, and members represent the top 10% of each college or school on campus. I now recognize those initiated into Phi Kappa Phi. Please rise. You may be seated. I would also like to recognize our military service members. With those degree candidates, who are commissioned in our military services, please rise. I now, now, I now ask that all active duty and veteran service members, both graduates and those in attendance, please rise. Thank you, thank you for your service to our country. Now, would Dean George Flowers of the Graduate School please come forward? Would Wesley Scott Hunkel please stand? On behalf of the faculty in the Graduate School, I would like to introduce our student marshal, Wesley Hunko, who is receiving a Doctorate of Philosophy in Mechanical Engineering. Wesley is from Kinston, Alabama. Now would all the candidates for the degrees of Doctor of Philosophy please rise. Trustee Demaribus. Pro, uh, President Leith and Provost Hargrave, on behalf of the graduate faculty, it is my pleasure to present these doctoral candidates for the conferral of their degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in me as a member of the Board of Trustees of Auburn University, I do now confer upon each of you the doctoral degree to which you are entitled with all the rights, privileges, and obligations thereunto pertaining. Please be seated. The Doctor of Philosophy is the highest degree awarded in the Academy of Universities. Part of the tradition associated with the awarding of this degree is a special ceremony involving the presentation of a doctoral hood. Would the major professors of the doctoral candidates please escort your graduate to the stage to be hooded as Professor Smith calls their name. Members of the Registrar's Office will direct you to the stage. Dr. Wesley Hunko, hooded by Dr. Lewis Payton.
Dr. Jonathan Cook, headed by Dr. Xin Yu Zhang. Dr. Stephen Boomhauer, hooded by Dr. Christopher Newland. Dr. Kyle Stone, hooded by Dr. Jing Wang. Dr. Wajeshwar Chinnawar, hooded by Dr. Steve Duke and Dr. Christopher Roberts. <laughs> Dr. Vignesh Venkatesatva Rumaran, hooded by Dr. Steve Duke. Dr. Andrea Bizi, hooded by Dr. Lorenzi Kromoski. <laughs> Dr. Alexandra Kelly, hooded by Dr. Rusty Arnold. Dr. Bo Wu, hooded by Dr. Bogdan Wilimowski. <laughs> Dr. Olga Yatsko, hooded by Dr. Andres Nowak. <laughs> Dr. Marek Kolodzicic, hooded by Dr. Nowak. Dr. Jin Wong, headed by Dr. Nowak. <laughs> Dr. Paulo Vortinko, headed by Dr. Brian Anderson. <laughs> Dr. Yi Zhou, Headed by Dr. Xiao Chen. <laughs> Dr. Partha Saha, headed by Dr. Virginia Davis and Dr. Bob Ashurst. <laughs> Dr. William Hand, headed by Dr. Ashurst. Dr. Baha Yakapoglu, headed by Dr. Julio Kirkichi. Please join me in congratulating these new doctoral graduates. Now would all the candidates for master's degrees please rise. Trustee DeMaribus, President Leith, and Provost Hargrave, on behalf of the graduate faculty, it is my pleasure to present these master's candidates for the conferral of their degrees.
by virtue of the authority vested in me as a member of the Board of Trustees of Auburn University, I do now confer upon each of you the master's degree to which you are entitled, with all the rights, privileges, and obligations thereunto pertaining. Please be seated. Graduates will come forward as Professor Smith calls your name. Members of the Registrar's Office will direct you to the stage. And congratulations. Michael Fitzmeyer. Amjad Holobele. Turkey Alsalal. Taylor Owens. Noel Cervantes. Langston Williams. Swati Gupta. Onenye Oswagwa. Adam Watkins. Mauricio Enriquez. Tianyi Hu. Yang Soon. Runeral Gunjol. Maya Kapsi. J. Sanjay Ruparilla. Vinad Shingen Tvaradan Tvaradi. Shiva Prasad Nagaswaran. Anjanea Bandakar, Ashley Garner, Connor Lusk, Lan Lu, Chao Shi, Matthew Barr, Michelle Knights, Hao Lin. Yu Fei Chen, Kai Huang, Ying Shi Yang, Jian Kang Lu, Karen Xu, Rajkumar Katyakan. Anway Najankar. <laughs> Daishili Young. Nilama Rajarika. Ananya Rayo Tadakamala. Heba Alanwe. William Miller. Nina Dijan Tate Robinson. Yan Bogong. Deepak Klimpakdi. Kirti Chai Gert Songsang. Grant Romine. Oguz Toragai, Mohammed Yazdi, Carlos Javier Chavez Gonzalez, 
Nicholas Jean. Jothri Mai Rani. Karthik. Ravi Kapoor. Kushagar Alawat. Ying Chong Jo. Emily Carasoni. Alexander Locker the Fourth. Nolan Chu. Avery Kucher. Abhishek Mukesh Shah. Keshia Sanjay Patel. Syed Mustafa Hussein. Gaurav Umesh Shadi. Abhishek Bakshi. Rahul Prasanna Nadi. Padman Rava Chaudhry. Ladri Bomek. Akshay Varakala. Satya Prakash Latka. Karthik Keswa Rede Panya. Heishung Ji. Jingyi He. Gabriel Pranya Pinya. Vishal Gohil. Please congratulate these master's graduates. We now come to the conferring of the undergraduate degrees. Mr. President, the deans of the colleges and schools will come forward and present the candidates who have been approved by the faculty and recommended for the appropriate undergraduate degrees. The candidates of each school or college will stand when presented and then be seated. Dean Christopher Roberts, Samuel Ginn College of Engineering. Would Matthew Rogers please stand? <laughs> On behalf of the Samuel Ginn College of Engineering, I would like to introduce our student marshal, Matthew Rogers who is receiving a degree in software engineering. Matthew is from Huntsville, Alabama. Would all degree candidates from the Samuel Ginn College of Engineering please rise? <laughs> Trustee, Trustee Demaribus, President Leaf, and Provost Hargrave, on behalf of the Samuel Ginn College of Engineering, it's my pleasure to present these students for the conferral of the bachelor's degree. Please be seated. Dr. Constance Relihan, Director of University College. Would Sydney Elizabeth Smith please stand? On behalf of University College, I would like to introduce our student marshal, Sydney Smith, who's receiving a degree in interdisciplinary university studies. Sydney is from Dallas, Georgia. Would all degree candidates from University College please rise?
Trustee Demaribus, President Lee, and Provost Hargrave, on behalf of University College, it is my pleasure to present these students for the conferral of the bachelor's degree. Will all candidates for bachelor's degree please stand? By virtue of the authority vested in me as a member of the Board of Trustees of Auburn University, I do now confer upon each of you the bachelor's degree to which you are entitled, with all the rights, privileges, and obligations thereunto pertaining. Please be seated. Graduates, you will now come forward by your college or school to be introduced as Professor Smith calls your name. Members of the Registrar's Office will direct you to the stage, and congratulations. The University College Associate Provost Constance Relihan, Sidney Smith, Aaron Norris, Jesse Earl, Ellie Leak, Kayla Breves, Kristen Perone, Lindsay Shannon, Cody Sherwood. Joshua Brooks, Claire Frankenfield, Devin Adams, Jared Stidham, Elise Tullamar, Mary Dawson, Harlan Bailey II, Safira Glamon, Jeremy Odom, Jonathan McCall, Haley Harrell, Reed Williams, Second Lieutenant James Morris, Paul James the Third. Hunter Brinker, Bradford Smith, the College of Engineering, Dean Christopher Roberts, Spencer Brian Frost. Holly Ann Maxey, Martha Doe, Benjamin Morgan, Reed Thackerson, Michael Strobel, Matthew Zhang, Cody Wheeler, Ensign Mark Miller. Ensign Craig Hager, Ensign Henry Yu, Jacob Schwinn, Ryan Shedrick, Jacob Perola, Aaron Wood, Ashley Yarbrough, Bailey Cam. Laura Stevie, Cassandra Kuiper, Catherine Nathan, Zachary Lee, Jordan Johnson, Kevin Turner, 
Robert Mullins. Austin Andrews. Matthew Rogers. Gabrielle Gilmer. William Brannan. Stanley White II. David Hall. Jessica Pinkston. Katie Crane. Mackenzie Grant. Sydney McKinney. Catherine Christian. Ryan Legrone. Anna Ospina, Jordan Garman, Nicole McHone, Carrie Roussel, William Yates, Brian Keith, Frank Popola III, Tom Ron. Scott Strickland. Sean Meislick. Joseph Hurd. Reed Stewart. Aubrey Mitchell. Mark Klein. Austin Miner. Vincent Kennevey, Jordan Kettering, Tony Pate, Jabari Latif, Jessica Kanasia, Avery Bush, Fraser Bronston, Brian Moore, Stephen Wiley, Stephen Gass, Madeline Bonafe, Maddie LeMayer, Anna Crowley, Matthew Larson, Justin Gosnell, Blake Diggs, Charles Lay, Joseph Major, Drew Farrell, Hannah Burns, Sarah Cassidy, Adoyan Floyd Osenloye. Anna Lindsay, Mark Dolan, Sawyer Vickers, Stephen Mackey, Jillian Jaffe, Clay Tidmore, Griffin Egan, Daniel Lobello, Michael Crawford, Sean Wilson, Ali Ahmed, Second Lieutenant Richard Nelson, Second Lieutenant Joshua Walworth, Danny Paul No Charlie, William Looney Jr., Christopher Harris, Christopher Bonner, John Wright, Cameron Cowan, Omar Cortez, Charles Harris III, Jordan Peterson, Kevin Lewis, William Jackson II, William Blake James, 
Mark Bergmeister, Joshua Gardner, Thomas McCall, Calvin Sandlin, Reban Koreshi, Parker Bell, Justin Hammond, Michael Holland II, Matthew Durr, Anthony Gosine, Hunter Bowden, Victor Danielson, Logan Venata, Ryan Scott McWilliams, Michael Letson, Second Lieutenant Nathaniel Low Miller, Second Lieutenant Chase Lauren Dean III, Colin Phillips. Conrad Mosley Brown, Andrew Blackman, Caleb Foster, John Hinkle III, Jonathan Lawley, Jacob Kibler, Justin Hauk, Natalia Thompson. Caitlin Jeffress, Carly Strickland, Charles Hill, Jason Phillips, Bram Duke, Patrick Harris, Lucas Damian, Robert Sockwell, Dustin Kelly, Tanner Straker, Robert McLean, David Thorne, William Blair, James Barnes, Molly McCormick, Aaron Brown, Bailey Watson, Adair Blumley, Adair Broom, Abigail Rolader, Miles Libbard Leffler, Sidney Smith, Nicholas Hammond, Brooke Malone, Nathan Merkel, Kristen Bassett, Craig Lyon, Christopher Up, Stephen Bro, Jordan Ryle, Shelby Hall, Julia Campbell. Skyler Settles, Promise Away, Connor Brown, Robert Sims Jr., Matthew Maxwell, Benjamin Waddell, Benjamin Lemke. Charles Shelley, Jackson Walraven, Aaron Lamb, Clayton Cheshire, Nicholas Hillman, Christian Jetzel, Peter Berryman, Jordan Booth. Gregory Jaggers, Brian Faulkner, Benjamin Garrow, 
Jacob Dean, Matthew Scales, Paramvir Bolina, Luke Dean, Parker Kane, Christopher Matheny, Zachary Wilson, Tuckween, Hayden Yendel, Nicholas Rose, Russell Stevens, Christina Holmes, Andrew Toomey, Hunter Elliott, Austin Herkamp, Colin Dorston, Jordan Ball, Jacob Onkin, Samantha Rayborn, Kenneth Seifert III, Ryan Sterrett, Jacob Beecham, Zachary Sellers, Taylor Dinner Jr., Jack Hutton, Zachary Barton, Mark Hilly, Richard Lloyd, William McCarty, Mary Lynn Vo, Ryan Santa Anna, Simon Lee, Matthew Hill, Daniel Bracken, Brianna Roman, Joseph Triquet, Parker Rausch, Zachary Lyles, Caitlin Wright, Noah Labeer, Dhruv Patel, Dustin Easterling, Morgan Beatty, Haven Barnes, Jake White, Ryan Sargent, Samuel Jones, Amy Reagan, Alexis Jones, Kristen Janikowski, Carter Spence, Jackson Lawrence, Samuel Liao, Katie Martin, Mary Martha DeShera, Sierra Smith, Adam Robinson, Joshua Haywood, Andrew Riley, Payson Williams, Diego Saavedra, Jeremy Williams, Jacob Trawick, Alexander Bessonen, Elijah Pinkard, Emma Adams, Daniel Glover, James Tanner Young, Wesley Tate Brand, Logan Bishop, Connor Tango, Roger Baggett, Lambert Holm III, Devin Morris, Adam Jackson, Zachary Williams, Ryan Williams, 
Nicholas Griffin, Austin Bailey Jr., Amaral Abdul Dafar, Monica Sane, Caroline Lester, Caroline Lester. Suchan Kwok, Shiwan Choi, Jacob Brewers, Nikolesh Chilakuri, Austin Baker, Michael Parker, Taylor Miller, Russell Pibus, Cameron Moore, Aaron Garrison, Caitlin Sutherland, Otto Hasselbauer III, Zoe Tucker, Savannah Smith, Michael Vickers III, Donald Corbett the fourth, Daniel Hatcher, Andrew Palmer, Ashley Brooke Clark, Robert Elijah Addison Pope, Blake Allen McGill, Stephen Earl Spearman. Da Young Kim, Colton Henderson, Jacob Chorney, Alfred Maiola the Third, Nicholas Pascarello, Kyle Shopper, Devon Vafai. Brandon Bassett, Tristan Hollingsworth, Kevin McCoo, Andrew Russell, Billy Zachariah Johnston III, William Stone Bynum, Joshua Hirsch, Evan Russell, Andrew McGeehy, Michael Pappas, Danny Hester, Zachary Clark, Derek Hurst, Christopher Lincoln, Marilyn Bryson, Justice Fears, Daniel Danley, Jake Vickers, William Bennett, Patrick Carter, Carlisle Munns, Leslie DeVoe, Jaisal Shaw, Andrew Choi, Jonathan Gonzalez, Madeline Dewitt, Colton Callender, Mitchell Vegas, Austin Butler, Kerry Laird, William Stewart, Lee Higby. Stephen Huff, Robert Campbell, Nathan Baker, Ricky Gable, Taylor Sanford, Raven Hatcher, Caroline Ludirja, Jacqueline Allison, Parker McCallum,
Timothy Morris. Brewer Kirkendall. Chandler Scott. Johan Velasquez. Chong Hyun Lee. Joseph Grant Higdon. Casey Cooper. Benjamin DeWitt. Paul Swiney. Jacob McGee. Kristen Fusito. Isaac Long. Colin Holtkamp. William Brannan Jr. Preston Pearson. Justin Euler. Jeremy Euler. Justin Duke. Kyle Daniels. Dalen Hester. Joshua Croswell. Aaron Smith. Kendra Mitchell. Rachel Dozier. Hayden Berger. Second Lieutenant Austin Walk. Christopher Dumas. Jake Smith. Rodney Leary III. Adam Haverkamp. Sawyer Lebanowski. Adam McCarthy. Mackenzie Steele. Landon Davis. Mark Tatum II. Catherine Walkey. Amy Hibberton. Jonathan Wurst. Jessica Wurst. Sarah Christman. John Hatfield. Aaron Burris. Alan Turner. Mitchell Hatfield. Michael Perkins. Lakshmi Krishna Prasad. Caitlin Childers. Laura Stevens. Jeremy Swan. Kevin McCulloch. Brendan Gorzelski. Joshua Lockett. Connor Dayton. Ryan Williams. Ariel Ramsey. Greg Ardalona. Andrew DeYoung. Dawson Riggs. Brandon Morris. Matthew Bonsall. Gary Goldsmith the first. Patrick O'Leary. Benjamin Twinner. Noah Cotton. Gunnels. Cameron Gunnels. Benjamin Compton. Jeremy Eisenberg. Austin Warnke. Andrew Thompson. Tyler Brown. Tyler Jenkins. Jacqueline Fogel. Brianna Roberts. Kevin Nixon. Ishmael Lee. Melvin Hill Jr. 
Dontavia Scipio. Pierce Clark. Alexandria Gunter. Jordan Matheny. Juliana Pierce. Skyler Evans. Jonathan Schmoll. Adam Harvey. Congratulations. Ryland Blankenship. Jack Cody. Connor Denton. Robert Estes. Aaron Wood. Clayton Pennington. Lane Little. Seng Wan Sio. Ensign John Samaluk. Dylan Brady. Andrew Lindsay. John Watley. Andrew Dunaway. Carter Corneal. Matthew Barton. Jacob Smith. William Harwell. Colin Stanley. Clinton Murphy. Alex Blado. Charles Williams. Travis Mullis III. William Lockwood. John Stanley. Elijah Smith. Jared Pope. Sarah Lindsay. Jonathan Harris. Jared Wolski. Jacob Hall. Michael Wagner. John Tully. Sean Bayer. Paul Burkholder IV. Michael Lummis. Jonathan Chenault. Regan Alexander. Aubrey French. Olivia Watley. Gavin Slay. Sarah Solomon. Jake Collins. John Schneider. Patrick Lavelle. Charlotte Jones. Sarah Gaines. Mary Grace Milam. Leslie Moore. Joshua McManus. Sarah Beth Wheat. Sarah Ture. Andy Carlson. Matthew Wall. William Crayer. Thomas Seitz. Aaron Langham. Jonathan McGuckin. Alexander Lewis. Miles Stover. Nicholas Stover. Joshua S. Whiting. Caroline Garcet. Catherine Pepper. Blake Smith. Casey Mullet. Justin Jones. Charles Wade. Emily Ong. Lauren Smith. Tiana Malone.
Catherine Tucker. Kelly Gonnicky. Stephanie Childress. Layla Batista. Timothy Morell. Garrett Waits. David Baker. Calvin Fisher. Austin Pegues. Emory Nichols. George Howell. Connor Henderson. Ensign Russell Mays. Ensign Samuel Dorito. Hallie Nelson. Natalie Schmidt. Matthew Pricer. Logan Carlisle. Jeffrey Iskandar. Megan McIntosh. Justin Trotter. Jing Hao Zhao. Dan Lin Shi. Jing Lei Su. Yulong Shi. Zie Wang. Yudu Guo. Shushan Wu. Michael Vance Manning Jr. Zachary Smith. Austin Russell. Irfan Thorale. George McLaughlin. Second Lieutenant Aaron Williams. Second Lieutenant William Heinzel. Luis Betancourt. <laughs> Jessica Suarez. Jesus Hernandez. Philip Cook. Cody Smith. John Patterson. Ryan English. Jared Hudson. Carson Jones, Eldred Latham III, Yan Hao Li, Jing Han Gu, Zhu Rong Zhang, Bo Lin Li. Xiao Lang Chen, Yu Tong Ho, Graduates, you're now part of this great Auburn family, great Auburn alumni family. Gretchen Van Valkenburg, Vice President for Alumni Affairs and Executive Director of the Auburn Alumni Association, is here to welcome you to this exceptional group. Please join me in welcoming Mrs. Van Valkenburg. Thank you, Dr. Leith. Congratulations and War Eagle! 
Now that you have completed the academic requirements and earned your Auburn University degree, you join a group of alumni who, like you, believe in work, hard work, honesty and truthfulness, and a spirit that is not afraid. Auburn University alumni have used their degrees to serve others, better their communities, and succeed in ways they may never have imagined on the day they wore their cap and gown. I have no doubt that each of you will do the same. You became a member of the Auburn family when you made the decision to attend Auburn University. You made friends that will last a lifetime, greeted strangers on heyday, and rolled Tumor's Corner after a win. You studied, you played, and you belonged. Would all Auburn alumni in attendance today please stand and be recognized? That's huge, graduates. Thank you, you may be seated. Today, it is my honor to welcome you as the newest members of the Auburn Alumni Association. You have been greeted by our Alumni Association board members, Mr. Van Henley and Shirley Bullware. Thank you for your service today. We appreciate that. They each handed you a, an Auburn alumni a pen. We hope you will cherish that. And, um, and next month, you're going to receive a little information, a little decal in the mail from us. As you head out into the world, please remember that your Auburn Alumni Association is here to assist you in staying connected to Auburn University and to each other. Whether you stay here in the loveliest village or you move across continents, there are plenty of ways to stay close to Auburn University. I encourage each of you to connect to the vast Auburn alumni network. Download the Auburn Directory app, find a local Auburn club or affiliate group, and please stay in touch with your schools and colleges and once you're established, please submit a story to us. We really want to brag on you, and we have a wonderful young alumni blog. You can visit our website to explore the numerous programs and services that are available to you, as well as see the Auburn Magazine online. Welcome again to your Auburn Alumni Association. I am so proud to share this great day with you, and it is my hope that each of you will always Believe in Auburn and love it. War Eagle. As we conclude our ceremony, I'd like to take a moment for us to recognize those who have worked so hard to make this day possible. Please join me in thanking Auburn University's graduation committee and all those who have worked so hard to make this ceremony a success. And finally, graduates, thank you for choosing Auburn University. It's been our pleasure to serve you as educators, mentors, and friends. You may now turn your tassels to the left. Graduates, we are very proud of you. The degree you have received today will aid you in your future endeavors, both professionally and personally. We are all excited to see the mark you will leave on our world. May you experience a truly successful life. Congratulations and War Eagle. We are about to conclude our ceremony with the singing of the alma mater led by Ms. Doraski. Would everyone please stand and remain standing until the platform party, the faculty, and the new doctors have recessed from the arena. And students, you may drop off your cap and gown as you exit to your right. 